The artist recreates the world. Yeah, but you you you're right on the on the pulse of the matter um, in terms of what needs to be done, in terms of lifelong, in terms of the, 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 your skill set, in terms of the multiple hats, mm -hmm. and, and 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 finding that place in spirit, or where God is telling you, okay, Rodney, you need to do this piece in terms of dance this time, okay, right. Rodney. So now you need to do... And you're absolutely right. A church that mural. Is, that is okay. totally and where... people don't... And that's right. my thing. What I've learned doing this series, talking to people, is that the culture dupes us because the culture tries to make us think that art is this white man with a white beard <laughs> that paints on Sunday, you know, um, acrylic paint. Right. And that's high, that's high art. That's high art. That's the standard. So... What's offensive is, so I had kids just the other day, and so they're Ecuadorian. I said, so um, have you ever read an Ecuadorian um, writer? And they're like, no. I said, in all of their seniors in high school, in all of your existence in education, you just have said, never... Just you want me to shoot that while you're doing that? Oh, no, no. You just okay. tell me. Where do you want me to be? The same spot. Okay. I just got to focus on you. Go ahead. I I'm listening to that thought. Okay, no, no. They just, they've never had an Ecuadorian writer. They, they don't know an Ecuadorian writer. So that means, how am I turned on the literature if I've never had anything culturally from someone who speaks my voice? Again, that means someone else is writing the voice. Sit, the down and say, sit down and say that. We got to get that. People don't understand that. That joint right there is a lot. So, like, yeah, that's you know. That see, that's this is this is. Yo, I'm telling you, this is the shit that gets me excited. I, and and then the other thing is that there's so many, not everybody, but there's so many artists that have this um, propensity to go to this place. Uh -huh. But they don't have the... Um, now, what are you going to sit back? Because I need to focus this on okay. you. Okay. When you get a text. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Thank you. But talk about that. Um, how can you create art from your culture where you never... Um, have written, have have learned, or heard a voice that comes out of your culture. That comes out of your culture. Well, um, like I was saying, I have um, some Ecuadorian students, and we're writing. They don't want to write, um, and we're talking about identity. So I said, they're they're seniors in high school. What Ecuadorian writers have you experienced? They haven't ever experienced an Ecuadorian writer, uh, and you know. Uh, their experience of being here in America and they're seniors in high school. So my point is if again, if no one is writing your narrative from your culture, then other people dictate to you what your culture is. And I think there's a, a, a way of being separate from your education when it's not inclusive of who you are culturally. We I believe people have to write their narratives for other people from their culture. So you have a basis for that. Um, it's if you don't, if you're not in alignment and learning from things in the Western um, civilization canon, Western canon, you know, um, you're not, for lack of a better word, legit. You're not fully educated. You're not well rounded. So I you're, think you're you're weak if. If you don't know who you are and where right. you come from, exactly. When you bring those things to the table, um, it's just about a wholeness, you know. If I know who I am, where I come from, it adds to my well-being. 
and who I am and my self-esteem. You know, I know that as an experience. No, that it, and, I, and as a way of living. That's the freshness. That's the um the the um that's what humanity brings mm -hmm. when when we are able when you can use those other voices that mainstream culture doesn't really want us to hear and you bring it. Oh, you say mainstream culture doesn't want us to hear it? No, I think I think mainstream culture wants to, us to hear it, but they always like to refine they, it. They they, they want like to, to dictate what it is. So that means they don't want us to hear it. If I got to dictate to you uh, your existence, then I don't want you to know what your existence is based on, look, me and you saying, this is where we come from, this is how I was born, this is how we were raised, and then I have someone else that's an outside influence or someone who does not really know the experience based it on, you know, um, facts that they've gathered or beliefs that they have in their head about who they think we are or who they want us to be. Police, it's right. those narratives. It's the narratives that the media, that they create, that when you see a, a man of color with a hoodie on, you immediately think of him yes. as something less than. You know, um, I, I'm, I'm a brother of color and I wear hoodies. It's getting cold. I'm getting ready to snatch one out now and go to Philadelphia. Um, but there's a different reaction to me um, based on what I wear. Yes. I shouldn't have to worry about what I wear in terms of how people are going to respond to me. Though you get a response based on how you're dressed. You know, I forget. You know, I'm, uh, I'm well-rounded. I'm educated. Uh, uh, I'm exposed and have access to all these things. And if I'm dressed a certain way and people are locking their doors and I see people grabbing their bags, you know, when people they don't see understand me, that. People don't believe that. I, I'm the dark. I'm a dark brother, so uh, it's different. No well-rounded and a lot of exposure. Uh, it's always been that way for me. I have to tell the story. I used to be a man of the cloth. And um, on Sunday sometime I would have my collar on, go out to dinner, and um, white people would say, oh, Father, how are you? Bless you, Father, like that. I, I wouldn't say anything to him. But now, the next day on Monday, I'll come out of Newark and go to work and put this joint on like this. Mm -hmm. Total different. It's the uniform. It's the uniform. Which is, is displayed in all me, in media, in our stories. And I, I'll say that, and it happens to people, to humans. I'm just talking about my experience. Yes. From I love my it. perspective. I love it. I love it. You know, it. people, oh, what right, 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 right. I have right, right. my experience. And this is all we and, we're just and all I this want, narrative. All I want is for you to respect my say experience. It, say it, say it, say it. And don't dictate it. to me what I'm supposed That's to feel. It. Just respect or, it. Just respect it. Or mind your business. That's all. <laughs> but, but the thing is, because of the culture, I think, I feel what happens is people respond because they feel guilty in a way, on a subconscious level, and they, and, and they can't... And, and I think it's a whole multitude of things, and I get that. But my, my thing as a man, I have a right to my voice. I have a right to my experience. Oh, my soul. <laughs> uh, and, you know... Just like anybody else here, uh, we built this country. Yes. I have a right to be here and to be vocal about my experience. That's right. That's right. That's it. My experience, not as one would want it to be or want to see it, but as my experience. And it's not a thing of being separate or alienating people. It's about respecting and validating and... You know, validate. Ooh. Validate. Yeah. I need to validate. Yes. I'm validating my yes. experience. I don't need you to. You know what I'm saying? And you don't have to We're experience done. Done. or We're understand done. it. You don't have to experience or understand it. Just let me have my voice. I can't tell a woman about nine months of pregnancy and birth. Son. As I can't tell her I cannot have a child. I can, I can produce a baby, I can make one, but I can't produce it out of my body. Right. I don't go through that process that she goes through. I know what it is as a father, because I got children, but I don't know what it is. Like, you know, I can't tell them about that experience. I can listen. I can lend an ear. I can hear it. I can be understanding. I might talk about it from my perspective, but it does not override her experience of carrying a child nine months. Son, when you say validate, I'm validating my experience, I'm done. I'm done. Interview's over.
We're good. No, but that's up. Um, what can you say to artists in terms of how can we can, how how do we improve? No, I, I know that's that that's a I know, I know, I know, I know. But just so listen, 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 I know exactly how we can improve. Is there one um, area? Of so we just lost. Um, Bria. Or, Bria no, and, and uh, Donna. Yeah, Donna. Um, you know, take care of ourselves. Yes. Learn to be gentle a little bit with ourselves. Um, you know, we, we artists artists lead a very uh, rigorous life, that of almost like a construction worker. You know, we compare it. Um, we work hard. We are passionate. We dream hard. Um, you know, all of that. We do a lot of stuff, and it's hard. Um, when, I, when I say this to other artists, I say it to myself. Learn to be a little gentle with myself and to take care of myself. You know, it's important. I'm working on that, taking care of myself. Um, Donna, was, Donna was 50. Wow, she was. 51, maybe? She was young. She was young. You know, beautiful spirit. Beautiful spirit. Um, and, and look, and find happiness somewhere in the midst of this. I love it. Find some happiness. Be happy. About the whole damn thing, yes. You know about I, the whole thing. That's that's, that's what you know. As I say, I say that to the people I want that from me. So I'm sharing what I want right. and what I seek. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, man. You, brother. Thank you. Keep doing your work, man. I know you will. Right. We appreciate you. Appreciate so, you. You know, I know we have people on all fronts. Mm -hmm. Can agree, cannot agree, but we all do what we can. To get to where we need to be, absolutely, you know, and we're absolutely. all learning. Absolutely. We're all still learning. It doesn't happen overnight. This absolutely. is a process. Absolutely. It's a journey. It is a process. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a process. Peace, you know? peace. Thanks, peace. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right. We out. Doc, you generated. You got me. Oh, you got me buzzing. But people don't. You know, they hear that and they don't. They don't really understand. Like. You know, this is a, we're, we're in a war. And I could go on, man. There's so much I could have said. Yeah, you I know. know. And, um, and, and no, but I appreciate that because this helps me. Now.